So hello and welcome to A Filmixologist. Um, this video I'm going to title it Carbonomics or the economics of working with carburetors. Um, because I think the, I got at a juncture in this project that I think I could, we can, we can maybe talk about how this thing works. So the 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 summary of the situation where we're at at the moment is that I took this carb to my um, I've got a I've got a subcontractor if you wish that does all the welding for me and he told me that although welding is technically possible that because there is a huge chunk of aluminium missing here which at at the point that I, before I cleaned it up this has all been a bit blasted by the way. Before I cleaned it up, I couldn't see it, but there is like a, like a hole here that hasn't got aluminium. So it can be done, but it's cost about 150 pounds. So, so I started kind of, kind of doing, doing some sums in my Excel spreadsheet. Um, and it turns out that I would need, in order to make not extraordinary amounts of money, but in order to make a little bit of money, out of this pair, I would have to sell it for about 700 ish pounds. Now, obviously, that's a lot of money, and whilst potentially, yeah, they could be worth that, um, I think that, that this project is not going to be viable in this form. However, uh, there is something I can still make probably as much or more money by doing it the project in a different way. So here's what I'm going to do. So I've got this inlet manifold for a, a British Leyland Mini, uh, BMC Mini, whatever, Classic Mini, whatever you want to call it. So what I am going to do then is I'm going to put this broken carb in kind of in reserve because I know that ultimately it can be fixed, but it's not ideal. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the carb that is in one piece out of this lot of two and mate it with this with this manifold and then the other thing that I'm going to do is I am going to sell the linkage and sell the KNN filter separately so that means that I I'm I'm gonna get kind of most of my money back if not kind of more and this is and this is something that is important. If you're out there and you're looking into buying things, let's say if I had a four cylinder engine and I needed a pair of carbs and I was going to buy something that is a bit naked of the internet, you need to be really careful. Why? Because now this project has become really expensive if I wanted to do it for two carbs. Now, because because I haven't got those constraints, I can pivot the project and kind of mate it to a, to a different manifold, use just one carb, sell off all the other bits, uh, sell spare parts, and I'm, and I'm probably going to be more than, more than happy uh, financially. However, if you're not in that situation, you're better off just buying the best looking bits of carb that, that you can find. Obviously, I bought it like this and if the description was quite upfront about that it was broken and that's why i bought it for very little money uh but now it's time for this project to morph into something else so this the Lotto drla dhla project 45 will morph into the mini the Lotto uh, dhla 45 so in the next video i'm going to show you how do i uh, obviously i'm going to start building the carb and I'm going to show you some things about tuning the carbs for minis uh, specifically that are quite important. So I'll see you on the next video.